Hi guys! If you were requested on how I fertilize my semi-hydrophonic orchids and it's really is so easy for me to do this kind of um, feeding on the semi-hydro this is the best the best like way of growing especially if you are busy all the time so that you, know, you just look at the bottom of the reservoir if it's dry you need a uh, water or uh, fertilizer so there is really nothing to this so um this is how I do it pardon the algae I can't control that one because algae just grow in a bright light you know so this is how I fertilize them look at that see and I put that's why I put this um kunti a uh, little bit dish in the bottom for this reason so that I don't have to um get, make a mess in the bottom layer with the pot so that it doesn't contaminate the other orchid in the in the um bottom just in case you know um this one I only bring them to the sink when I need to flush them they're like just in like this in the holes you can see the um, residual maybe a calcium deposits like that or um, salt deposit what what do you think or the deposit in there and if they're like um, almost clogging right there or they're just so many I bring them to the sink and just flush them lots and lots of running water in the faucet and then if the base get wet I will just dry them so or the fertilizer Resid residual stuff that you know I need to clean up but that this is how I fertilize them and what's in this um what I fertilize what I use to fertilize them is uh their food is the um, balanced fertilizer 2020 water soluble so like that one so easy peasy there it's a fertilized water Do like that there you go so easy and I have a few ancidium in this method just like that one I did that earlier today and this one because the the um pot is wonky so I put that in a ceramic vase so it just catches the drip right there and I will just dump that one separately yeah and I'll show you something else that I do with my um, palanopsis in a sphagnomos it's a bonus point wow in this room it's much cooler compared to the orchidarium it's hot and humid over there over here in this dining room it's way cooler hmm. so i put my um supposedly warm loving species in here species uh foul species and look at this i they were thirsty i moved them in here yesterday because my plants from out there outside see i already opened half so that one the cymbidium and meltoniopsis are outside it's starting to get cold and I found another spike on my um cymbidium yeah so we got two but this one anyway I digress sorry but this is how I water and fertilize my fowl species or my um phalaenopsis with um sphagnomos on them see earlier today I had more water than this but the sphagnomos the dried sphagnomos just wick up the water in the top and I like the way it is because it doesn't uh, I mean the the base of the plant doesn't get wet yes see doesn't get wet in there focus please that one so yeah it did just wick because of the the slit I put like, like way down 
um, slit of the plastic pot and then the water can just get in there and wake up to the top of the sphagnum moss yeah that's what I do and then I have um, the bucket here and I will just bring this down to the bucket and dump it dump the water in it and then I will bring them uh, bring it to the sink or outside and dump it somewhere in the grass you know but this is how I water and fertilize my orchids in a in a sphagnum moss it happened to be this one I have plenty of them um, in the the, the fowl species it's still right there because I didn't repot them yet the, they are in the moss but they're loosely packed there so I kinda like this idea that I prefer this in a way so that I don't have to worry about the uh, steam rot yep okay guys I hope you like this thank you for watching bye